Hello, so I have found this um, part of Google and the Google Drive um, platform that has really helped in keeping virtual students engaged and also allowing them to be a part of in-class presentations um, simultaneously with the kids who are all traditional. And so I'm gonna share that with you. Just start that. If you open like a new tab, it's under just your regular Google page. And you'll slide down, it's called Jamboard. So it's under Google, but it's Jamboard. I mean, basically what that is, is that it opens up and it gives you just a blank set of slides. So you can continue to add slides and add different frames all the way through. Um, and it can be shared with all of your students. You can share it with your whole class. You can share it with just your virtual kids. Um, I've done it both ways, depending on the day. But you can set backgrounds if you need them. I kind of let the students do that. So if it's a graphing day, then like they may put the grid on there or whatnot. They also have options for a pen, so they can write all over the screen. A um, couple of different color options there. They can write. There's an eraser. Um, they can add a sticky note to it, so they get to pick their color of sticky note. Um, type on it or whatever they need to and then hit save and it actually puts that sticky note onto their screen. So if there's multiple people coming in, they can all have a sticky note color to add to the screen and add their part to their presentation. You can also add images. So if they have like, for our class, since we're science, we have graphs and whatnot, they can add their own hand-drawn graphs or shapes if needed. And then also they can make a text box and write all over it as well. So there's just a lot of options that it brings. Um, you can title them. I usually title them by like the topic and then what block they are because I do a different one every block. And just to give you some examples of how you can use this and how I use it in my classroom, um, this is an example of one of the virtual whiteboards that we did. And I gave them, I usually give them a problem. So in class, I have tables and like table one, I'll do problem six. And then I go all the way through and I put my virtual students in different groups as well. And I kind of list their names as you can see up top. And that just gives them a group to actually work with. And so in this case, they had number seven and they put their diagrams with their shapes and all of their text box on there. So when they presented, all of this information was just shared on the screen like I'm sharing with you now. And it's just really cool because then they can all kind of chime in, they all get to type their different parts. Um, you can add a break room, breakout room on Zoom to this as well. Um, if your students you know into breakout rooms and they can kind of discuss and form it. But the cool thing is, is that like while they're working, you can see their work as well. So I have my other group right here. They had some math involved. And they could have written that out if they wanted. And then here's another one. You can see where I went in and wrote on the screen as well. So like once they start presenting at, from home, you can actually simultaneously write on the screen, um, add any notes or details that you want to add as well. Here's an example of like how you can list out different things and share with everyone on your Promethean and whatnot. Um, another example is that they can copy and paste. So this is straight out of the work that they've done. And, excuse me, sorry. And so they can actually take like the snippet off of their computer and insert it into the slide as well and then make their answers from there. So this group is all virtual and they chose to go ahead and just snip their work out and then they presented it from there. So lots of options in here. This one put the chart and then put their own text boxes. But it's just nice because the virtual students you get to monitor what they are doing and what they're adding to their screens, as well as what the kids in class are doing. Gives you access to both of those and then they're actually still getting to present and you're asking questions, writing all over it. Um, another example is like this one actually drew their lines to show their work out completely. Um, it's also good for like drawing graphs and then you can see where I've gone through and with the yellow line and drawn. So I found this tool really helpful. Um, 
this gives lots of options to include your virtual students in those presentations, but also keeping them monitored and engaged um, and gives you a way to give them immediate feedback as well. You can also do this for a whole class. If you, everyone has a Chromebook, they can all be on and you can continuously flip through screens to make sure that everyone is participating as they go along. It shows you, if you have it shared, it'll show you like right up here in the top right corner what work they've done and who's actually on the Jamboard during the work as well. So you can kind of see who all is putting forth the effort on that. So I thought it was really cool. It's really helped me with virtual students and making sure that it's an all-inclusive classroom. And I hope that it helps you too.